Let's, let's let the scriptures come out. John 16. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Who? This ain't talking about Esau. This ain't talking about Esau. Esau, although Esau has his hand in it. He, even Esau has his hand in it. He's got his hand in certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and get this man to stop talking. Remember what we started off on John? What, John 11 or John 10? Okay. They shall come and take away our place. Okay. So the men that really have the true testimony of Yahweh Shai, other men that are established, Esau's going to be in their ear and say, do this, do that. Got to get this individual out of here. Get him away. Right? This is what's going on in the truth. And if you don't think it's going on, you, you need to wake up and pray for the sermon. Right? It's been happening for a long time. You got men that report back to the government agencies doing his bidding. But guess what? The Lord is going to destroy you. He set you up for that. Okay. He set you up for that. Okay. You even got wicked ass elders that will appoint other wicked up other wicked men, reprobates, to come up against other men. Okay, to slander other men. These are them same chief priests. These are them same Pharisees. Right? the time coming whosoever killeth you will think he doeth the most high service right it's going to get to that point they're going to be thinking they're doing the, the most high as well when they're not right they're doing the complete opposite and these things what they do unto you because they know not him they know not the father nor me because they know, they know not the, the heavenly father Yahweh, nor they know Yahweh Shai right but these things have I told you that when the time shall come, you shall remember that I've told you of them. And these things have I said unto you from the beginning because I was with you. So Yehoshua is with his men, particular men upon the earth. Right? That's the assurance. Okay. So there's going to be time when you're not a part of a camp, but Yehoshua gave you what? That assurance. Let you know where you continue going on. You continue fighting that good fight of faith. Right? In Galatians 2. And four. We're back on Galatians two and four. Two and five. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit. This is Paul, because he was absent, but he was still with what his men in the spirit. Okay, through what the letters, through these epistles. Just how we I'm not present with some brothers right now, but we're present by what the spirit. Okay, through these what electronic epistles. Right back then, what these were written letters that had to be sent out. Okay, and it says, I'm with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order. Right, so we understand, yeah, there's an order, but who are you following? You're not, what order are you following? Are you following a Masonic order? You even see it in this truth, men with their Masonic stupid ass um, hand gestures. You think, you think brothers don't see that? You see everything that's going on, your Masonic hand gestures, your Masonic sign symbols. Okay. You think we don't see the, the triangles that you form? Okay. Your Masonic can't we see all that that's happening. You know? You got men in this truth that are part of what? A Masonic Brotherhood. Okay. Yeah, there's a Brotherhood of Yahweh Shai and, and there's a Masonic Brotherhood. Okay. So you got to have your eyes open and see what's going on. Okay. Scriptures told us to go out on the highways and byways and you had men that were hiding in the forest. Whose order? Who gave the order? Because the order is what? They're from what? On high. They're from what? Top. Which the order is ultimately from Yahabashai. But Yahabashai never said do that. He never said all the camps worldwide hide in the forest. Okay? Cross your arms in, in, a, in a triangle of motion. Yahabashai never said do that. That's Esau's orders. Okay? Had a man once tell me in a camp, we're under orders. Well, whose orders? What well, Esau's orders. Okay, see everything's being revealed, right? That's why Yahweh separates his tr the true men, the hopeful elect, from the fakes, from the phonies, because there's too much wickedness going on, right? And beholding your order and steadfastness of the faith in Mashiach, and not everybody has faith. So the order you follow is those, the orders of Yahweh those that are what, under the orders of Yahweh not the orders of Esau and his government and his organizations. 
not those that I've took another what 5013 three, what 501c3 I don't know if I'm saying it charter not those okay you got men saying they haven't sold out but they can't even say Esau you know it's that bad it's that bad you're just shaking your head you got men that can't even say Esau because they're afraid to lose their channel so how are you gonna lose your life if you can't even lose your channel? You can't even say Esau. And you got men that wanna argue with you over that. You got men saying serpent's juice, they can't even say half oh, I'd eat chip. How are you gonna lose your life? So men are, men are showing you already, if you have discernment, where they stand. They're showing you. They're compromised. <laughs> they can't, they're compromised. These are, these are, that's the, these are cowards, these are cowards, these are men that are not standing stiffly for Yara Shai. They don't stand for anything. Let's let the scriptures come out. As he therefore have received Mashiach, Yahweh Shai the Lord, so ye walk in him. So walk in Yahweh Shai as you received him. Walk in him. Not your camp leader. Not your camp leader. Men want all these titles. Upcoming and upcoming this is an upcoming um elder so fucking what so what so what but what spirit is he in is he in a, is he in a demonic spirit is he a respect of persons um an upcoming leader so what see that's that respect of persons among yourself the chief priests and pharisees they, they're showing you they, they're, they're not even hiding it they're showing you they're showing you okay As you have received Mashiach, Yahushua, so walk ye in him. Okay? So the disciples, the apostles, the apostles that we're reading of now, Paul, he was an apostle. Okay, Peter, these were apostles. They were always teaching you to walk in Yahushua. Okay? They were, not, they, were not bringing, they were not bringing you to Rem. They were bringing you to Yahushua. They were not so much bringing you to a camp. Was Peter, were they a part of a camp? Yes. Just what with the rest of the disciples and what you also had what a multitude and what disciples and you had to what secret disciples but they were bringing you to Yahweh Shai that was the camp bringing you to Yahweh Shai that was the camp that was the body it wasn't you bring it wasn't them bringing it wasn't it wasn't them bringing you to them okay bringing you to them it was them bringing you to Yahweh Shai men have got this truth twisted but that's what happens when you have a large following and men always calling you elder, Shalom elder. I know that's that's what happens, it can get to your head. Right? Which is nothing wrong with calling a man elder, but that can, it gets to men's heads. Okay? When Yahabashai doesn't come what the forefront of their mind. And they will X out Yahabashai. You've had men that they're Xing out Yahabashai, but they're not really teaching you about him. But they can teach you about whole Cab Malone. They can teach you about that flamer, Kev Kevin Samuels. Word has it that he, yeah, he's a flamer. They can teach you about all this other madness. Okay. Let's go to verse 7. Rooted up and established in the faith. So you want to be rooted. Okay, that's why you have to read the scriptures continually. Established in the faith. So you're able to stand strong. Okay, when you're alone, as you have been taught, right? And we have been taught, okay, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So now this is about abounding in this faith with thanksgiving, thanking Yahweh Yahushai, okay, for looking after you, for, for giving you more wisdom and so forth, thanking Him, okay. Abounding there with thanks, giving thanks, and we ought to what to give thanks continually. Right? Beware lest any man, here it is, Paul Walling, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Spoil you. Spoil you what you're taking. Okay. And how what what are they trying to take? Your mind. Okay. Spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Right? The philosophy of this what? Okay. 
and vain deceit and after the tradition of men and that's what Paul was actually warning of tradition of men so did not the Pharisees have a tradition amongst themselves hmm? did not the Pharisees have a tra tradition amongst themselves yes they did okay they had a tradition amongst themselves okay they had the, the way they done particular things it was a tradition okay the tradition of men some men have their own traditions okay the way they do things so if it's the tradition of men it's, it's not the tradition of the most high it's opposite they form their own what laws okay why to keep you in bondage that's why it says in john 8 and 32 and you shall know the truth which is yahweh shai that's why you got to know yahweh shai and the truth shall set you free okay set you free from what the bondage of what the pharisees okay and that's what they hated that's why they were trying to stop yahweh shai and his followers right see what else we got bear me just a minute see what else we got and the rudiments of this world of the world and not of Mashiach the rudiments go when you type in that word rudiments it's the order of this world the Pharisees they had a particular order and their order was according to this world it wasn't according to what Yahweh Shai it was the order of the Romans it was the order of Caesar okay it was the it was it was the order of who else it was the order of Herod it was not the order of Yahweh Shai therefore what does that mean pretty much they were enemies of Yahweh Shai right bear me just a minute burning up some incense some frankincense okay so yes this is this I hope this is giving you um more of an understanding of what was going on okay and what to look out for as well like I've always said you got brothers that come into the truth and sisters they may be struggling with particular things they may fall but guess what if they were with Yahweh Shai they were with Yahweh Shai but then you just have those that are wicked and they were established okay and they, they're just wicked they just work they just work in what mischief right huge difference bear me just a minute so we're back on Colossians where was we Colossians 2 and 8 the rudiments of this world are not of Mashiach right so you want to make sure when brothers are teaching you what's the main thing that they're teaching you yeah we teach you prophecies but the main thing we teach you is Yahweh Shai how he was walking not how he was living who was against him <laughs> okay because if you knew who was against him You'd be, you'd be more what circumspect of who was around you, right? A lot of you were in camp standing with men that were what, against Yahweh Shai, okay? For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, in who? Yahweh Shai, and the Godhead means divine, okay? You are complete in him. So we are complete in Yahweh Shai, right? We are full in him, okay? which is head of all principality and power okay all these spirits on whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands and that's what of the mind re removal of spiritual excuse me of spiritual impurity okay without the circumcision made without hands in the putting off of the body of sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Mashiach buried in him in baptism okay which is through what the words well when are you risen with him through the faith of the operation of the master who raised him from the dead and nobody can take that away from you okay nobody can take that away from you okay and that's a gift you have that faith hold on to it okay and you being dead in sins and the uncircumcision uncircumc uncirc of your flesh have he quickened together with him having forgiven you all trespasses so men they're trying to get you to be in a condemned mind that's what they're doing 
And that's why you got men in this truth. When you slip or you made a mistake, they're trying to get you to condemn yourself. That's what they're trying to do. But the scripture says, okay, read it again. He has forgiven all your trespasses. And do you believe that? Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. So, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. What were the ordinances? Okay. It was according to the Lord that that's that were the, what ordinances of washing of hands. Okay, you gotta wash your hands. That was something that the the Pharisees made up amongst themselves. You gotta wash your hands. You gotta be clean when you come into this, come into our temple. Okay. You know, they're making up their own laws within their own laws. Okay, the handwriting of what the law, because that's what they were trying to hold the people to. Okay, and Yahushai is over the law. Okay, you got men, they put the law before Yahushai. Why? Because they're missing Yahushai. You don't put the law before Yahweh Yahushai. Even though Yahushai says, I came not to do away with the law, I came to establish it. Okay. Do we, so lucky, do we make void the law? No, we establish it. Okay, yeah, it's established. Okay, but who's over the law? Who is the law? Ultimately, you have a shy. And the sooner you understand that, the better. Okay. Because even most men in this truth, the same laws they talk about keeping, they're not keeping the laws because they don't even love their brother as thyself. That's the breaking of the law right there. Two of the most important commandments which you hang the rest of the law upon. Okay. Love that love your how I shy with all that um, might, power and soul. You do that, what does that mean? That means you're gonna be fervent for your I was shy. And second unto that, okay, will follow. You love your your, your power, your how I was shy with all that might and soul. What's the second that's gonna follow? Okay. The second that will follow, you're gonna love your brother as thyself right and it says we're still on colossians 2 and 14 which was contrary to us so lord yeah it was contrary to us okay why because what the flesh okay when you go off and what would that lead to sin okay oh my gosh chariot hey brackety ahawa brackety ahawa shy brackety ahawa Brakati Yahawa Shai, Brakati Yahawa Brakati Yahawa Shai Abanawa Nawa Abu Yahawa Bai Shimi Yahawa Shai Let me see if I can catch this on camera Two of them You see Man Two of them, you see that? Hey Brakati Yahawa, Brakati Yahawa Shai Brakati Yahawa, Brakati Yahawa Shai Brakati Yahawa Brakati Yahawa Shai You see that right there? I believe it's more than one. You see it? You see it, baby, just a minute. That's more than one. And no, that ain't no birds. I tell you that right now. Right? There is no bird in the sky. See if I can still get it. You see it? It's still there. Brakatiya Hawa, Brakatiya Hawa Shai. Brakati Yahawa Brakati Yahawa Shai Right? Still there You know? This is our faith Alright Alright, just see It's alright Alright And that's spiritual as well Because what's, what's the um The father of King David His, na his name is Jesse Right? Bear me just a minute. It's still there. It is still there. Okay. Oh man, see you wanna be oh that's the oh that's that's a major faith booster. That is that is that is a major faith booster. Big time. Big time. Now now is now it's disappeared. Now it has disappeared. That's a faith booster. You see? 
And guess what? Yahabasha will what? Show you signs. That he's with you. Bear me just a minute. Oh man. You know sometimes that you kind of man. It's it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Yahabasha will always reassure you.